Pisces and welcome to February. This is Gwendolyn. Welcome back to the channel or if it's your first time here, welcome. This is going to be a monthly telescope for Pisces for February and this month I'm using the Aquarian Tarot by David Palladini. It's kind of a classic. Here's the back of the deck um, to the lovers for February here. And when I first did this reading, I shuffled and laid all the cards out, um, but for some reason the first time through my camera didn't record it, so I'm going to go through it again. And I'm thinking, you know, it's funny, for February there may be a, a feel for you, Pisces, of something being a, a do-over or a redo. That's what I'm getting off of that, is that something might feel like it's the second time around, or that it's coming back around for a redo or, or a do-over. So I'm just leaving the cards as they were, and I'm going to go through each one of them. At the beginning of the month, we have a lot of coins or pentacles energy. Two of coins, page of coins, ace of coins in reverse, and then wheel of fortune in reverse. And then in the middle of the month, we have a lot of major arcana, devil, lovers in reverse, sun, hangman in reverse. And then at the end of the month, we've got queen of swords in reverse, High Priestess in Reverse, Six of Wands, and King of Coins. One of the things that I noticed about this layout was that there are six major arcana. One here, one here, and then the four in the middle. So that's half the cards, Pisces, for February. So it kind of feels like it's a big month for you. It feels like there are some major themes happening. To start off with, we have Two of Coins in Reverse. And Two of Coins usually means... Um, you know, having adaptability, having flexibility, choosing and balancing different elements that are going on. So it means um, standing on one foot. It's usually the juggler and trying to choose between two elements. With it in reverse, sometimes it means being a little bit rigid, um, not going with the flow, not being adaptable or flexible, maybe having fears about uh, sort of two sources of income, like not having enough for, um, say, regular basic needs versus pleasure. There might be something where you're feeling like you're pulled in two different directions with it in reverse, because this usually talks about some fear, some doubt, or some resistance towards um, having things balanced with the two of coins in the, in the reverse position. And what it's telling me is that you might need to adopt a more flexible um, attitude towards what's coming at you instead of rigid ideas of how you think things need to be because it looks like you're willing to be open and learn um, about you know things having to do with your tangibles your finances your assets your physical health things like that your job for some of you it might mean that you're taking on a new job for some of you I'm actually getting going back to school Usually Page of Coins is considering the coin right in front of him. It's something that's been given to him. So it could be a new job offer. It could be communication about money in some way. Some communication, like some coins are coming towards you. And I want to say to you, Pisces, that um, with this Ace of Coins in reverse, there is a great new opportunity that could have long-lasting results if you are willing to see it and, and receive it. I think you may have gotten this last month as well, Ace of Coins in Reverse. And Ace of Coins is a card about new beginnings, new, like a venture, for example. This is a new business venture, or it could be a new job, a new source of money, a new lifestyle, a new relationship. Aces are always new beginnings. And coins represent something that's a blessing, something that's an asset, something that represents wealth, something that you value. So there's something kind of knocking on your door, Pisces, in terms of wealth, assets, coins, money, valuable things, um, but you might be fearful about receiving it, or you might doubt the possibility of receiving it, and therefore you're blocking it. With Wheel of Fortune in reverse, Wheel of Fortune is usually a very good card, either in the upright or the reverse, but with Wheel of Fortune in reverse, it's telling me that there might be some resistance to allowing things to unfold the way they will. That echoes that two of coins energy. Usually when I see Wheel of Fortune in reverse, it means that you want to speed things up or you want to slow things down, that you're not letting things unfold naturally at their natural pace and their natural course. So 
what can you do, Pisces, to just sort of surrender and go with the flow, especially as it relates to your assets, to your job, to your finances? Maybe you've put some energy into something and you're like impatient to see results from it, or that you don't think that you're ready to receive something that, that looks like a valuable thing that the universe is offering to you. So I see the main thing that I see for the beginning of February for you, Pisces, is kind of surrender to what is or what's in front of you in terms of uh, money, finances, opportunities, assets, your health, your body. Look at, look at what is right in front of you and make decisions based on that. Don't try to speed things up or don't try to slow things down. Try to let go of any rigid ideas of how things need to go and that's going to really serve you, especially in terms of your finances. In your wealth. In the middle of the month, um, I see devil here, which usually has to do with constraints, handing over your power to something else, believing in false ideas. Sometimes this can represent a obsession or codependency or any kind of addiction, whether that's gambling or shopping or sex addiction or food addiction or however, anything that you give your power away where you feel like you don't have a say in the matter. So um, usually, interestingly too, this lover's card and the devil are echoes of one another. Usually there's an angel that appears in the lover's card above and the devil uh, appears above the couple in, in this card. So there's some way in which, Pisces, some relationship is either haunting you or making you feel restricted or you're not able to show up as yourself authentically in it. This is... The lover's card in reverse um, and it could mean that you or it could be that you're stuck in some sort of fantasy or obsession or codependent version of a relationship when I see these two together or that it could be that you're in, um, involved in a relationship that's just based upon sex and lust it's not really um, intimate it's more just sort of carnal um, so, but I do see happiness here too with the sun. And I see that if you can do some self-reflection, that may turn things around for you. I mean, it's nice to have the lover's card here right during um, Valentine's Day. But I'm also seeing that you might care too much about what other people are thinking, Pisces. This is the hangman. Usually this is the upright orientation of it. This is the reverse position. And Hangman usually walks to the beat of his own drum. He doesn't really care two cents about what anyone else thinks. Um, he hangs upside down and gets a different perspective on things, and he just kind of considers his own point of view and, and is true to that. In the reverse, it says you may be caring too much about what other people think. You might need to take a time out and just really consider what's true for you, Pisces, and that's where this happiness comes in. I really get the sense that as you stop caring what other people think, this lover's card turns around. And you can actually show up authentically instead of what um, what you believe others want to see. And it's funny because I'm getting with both of these cards, these cards both usually reflect someone on, on one foot. This person's hanging by one foot, this person's standing on one foot. I'm getting that this month is about creating stability for you in that way, standing on your own two feet is what I really get. So how is it that you can release yourself from something, you know, if, if this devil represents, say, false beliefs about money or false beliefs about relationships or false beliefs about anything that you feel has control over you, how can you stand on your own two feet and really show up authentically in, in relationship to others and therefore enjoy all of this happiness that the sun wants to bring to you. This is pure happiness and freedom, exuberance, feeling like a child again. This is just the sun radiating on you. Two great cards of good fortune here in February. So consider that, Pisces. What, what false beliefs do you need to let go of in order to show up here in this lover situation authentically, real, um, uh, intimately and you might need to do some self-reflection you might need to just sort of go into yourself to get that perspective to get access to this happiness 
towards the end of the month, I see a Queen of Swords figure here, Queen of Swords in reverse. This could be an air sign that you're not seeing eye to eye with. It could be potentially a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. In the reverse, Queen of Swords can be quite harsh. She's usually, in the upright, she's direct and honest and truthful and sets good boundaries and is clear, logical, analytical. In the reverse, she can be very cutting, very harsh, very sharp. Um, so this tells me be careful of not speaking too sharply. I don't necessarily get that this is you. Again, it could be an air sign that you're dealing with or someone who has the Queen of Swords archetype, someone who can sometimes come off as bitter or... Um, just just very sharp and harsh with her words specifically and I'm actually getting that this is more of you in a situation Pisces this is high priestess energy this has got the Persephone archetype this is someone who is usually very quiet and receives information who has an inner knowing and listens to their intuitive guidance but in the reverse, you're that saying that you may have a temptation to respond to this person. If they're coming at you, this can be a bully, someone who's aggressive, especially with their words. You may have a, a hes hesitancy to maintain your cool and or an inability to maintain your cool with, with high priestess in reverse. So this is saying you may have a... Uh, inclination to respond to them and I'm going to encourage you to not do that I'm going to encourage you to go within and just trust your own inner grace your own inner knowing your own intuition that's actually where your success comes in Pisces the six of wands which is success recognition victory um, this has to do with reputation this is I actually get that this is you Pisces here and you're kind of caught in the crossfire between a king of coins person in the reverse and a queen of swords person in reverse. This king of coins could be an earth sign. It could be Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Someone who's not showing up in their normal way. Um, like this could be a very... Um, a boss who just cares about money, the bottom line only. It's usually king of coins in reverse can be someone who's arrogant or greedy or just self-centered they don't really think about others they just think about they can be stingy they can just be um you know concerned about the bottom line at all costs and i i almost get the sense pisces that you're caught here in the middle between this these two characters who may just be fighting with one another um and your your best option will be just to stay out of it to stay quiet to hold your tongue. It's going to be hard to do that. I see that with High Priestess in reverse. But just try to maintain your own dignity, your own maturity, your own... Um, be the calm in the center of the storm, if you can, at the end of February. Especially if you've got two, a, a queen and a king, two people in positions of authority who may be dueling or fighting or, or there may be a challenge for control or dominance between these two. This person can be very harsh and this person can be very arrogant. So just just again, you, you come out sort of smelling like roses, Pisces, if you can stay out of it and stay quiet and just um, not get caught in the crossfire. That's what I'm seeing. So ultimately, that's what I have for you for February, Pisces. I see some good money energy here. If you can let go of any fixed preconceived notions about how fast or you need things to go or you know if you just feel like you need to slow things down just let things happen as they will see if you can stand on your own two feet especially as it comes to love relationships and you'll find a lot of happiness there you'll be able to show up more authentically it may take some looking within and not being so concerned about what others think and towards the end of the month it's just saying your best success is going to be in laying low if you find yourself involved in a conflict, especially between an earth sign and an air sign who may be battling it out around you. So that's my reading for you, Pisces, for February. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you all have a wonderful Valentine's Day if you celebrate it. And if you'd like to catch the replay of uh, the tea party that Madam Pamita and I did last month, I will put a link below to the link on her YouTube channel to watch that if you'd like. And if you'd like to pick up a copy of my Tarot of Flowers new tarot deck, I'll also have a link for that below. And as always, I just want to thank you so much for tuning in. Yours in the stars.